Hey guys, I'm going to be reviewing three high-end foundations for you guys. Recently, I ordered some things from, from Sephora, and I um, just picked out some samples that were foundations that I want to try for you guys to let you know what I thought of them. Um, and basically, that's it. There are three different brands. They are actually, like, all completely different. Like, they don't all claim to do the same thing, if you know what I mean. Um, also, I'm going to be looking down at my iPad because um, there's more information there for you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and get started into the reviews. Okay, so the first one I want to talk about is the Cover FX um, Total cover cream foundation sorry I forgot the name um and this one retails for $42 and you get 0.42 ounces of product um and there are 28 shades in the entire line so there are um shades for everyone out there probably most likely everybody can find their shade in this line um now they never sent me a shade that was perfect for my skin i mean it's not their fault it's just a sample obviously um but they did send you three different ones um and this one says p40 this one says n40 and then this one says g40 um they're all different um um, the P means that it's for pink undertones, meaning that you have a rosy undertone um, or a cooler hue to your skin. The N is for neutral, if you have both golden and um, rosy undertones to your skin. And then G is for golden, which means you have yellow undertones um, or a warmer hue to your skin. Um, and I am neutral, so um, I just tried out the one in the middle. Um, and if you can tell here, I'll just peel it up for you, that this product is very, very thick. This is super full coverage. You can layer this and it won't look cakey. Um, now, I didn't like try it all over my face, um, but I tried it on like a, my chin area. And it's just very, very thick. So if you don't like to wear thick foundations every single day, this is definitely not the one for you, I'm going to have to say. Um, I don't like it at all, um, but it is medium to full is what it says online, but I'm telling you it's full. Um, for me it was. I didn't have to use a concealer or anything. This has a concealer built into it. Uh, if you do need something that is super full coverage and you have a lot of redness or just something, this is definitely one to try. Um, if you were wondering, I have oily slash dry skin. Um, so I have combo skin. I have dry cheeks and an oily T-zone. I tried it on my chin area and it was fine there. It was very, very smooth there. I didn't try it on my cheeks so I don't know if it grabs onto any dry spots on your cheeks. Um, but I'm going to assume that it probably does a, a little bit. But if you work with it, you can probably get it just the right way. But since that foundation retails for $42 and you might not want to pay $42 for something, you're not 100% sure if it's going to work for you, definitely try this. Um, this is a dupe. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. This is a dupe for this. The Cover FX is a lot heavier on the skin. This is heavy on the skin, but you can't feel it after you're all done putting your face putting your foundation on um, and this ranges from like 10 to 15 dollars and that's 42 so this is a great alternative if you want to try something like that but you're not sure if you're gonna love it definitely try the Revlon one first the next one that I tried out was the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This is the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. Um, with this, there are 18 shades in the entire line. So um, a good amount of people could find their foundation. Their, they could find their skin tone. Um, I'm not sure how dark the darkest one is. So if you do have a deeper skin tone, um, I'm not sure how well it, um, it would match. For you because it's all the way to 0.5 to 12.0 um so just keep that in mind but you can definitely go into sephora and try it out yourself i thought the sample pack was actually really interesting because it gives you four different shades um it like opens up like this and there's four different shades in here um my shade is actually 2.0 it matched my skin perfectly um but they also give you 3.5 4.0 and 8.0 and i really like how the shades are like named like 
I like to say that my shade is 2.0. I don't know why. I just like that. Um, but then also the samples, they just look like this. They give you enough to cover your entire face. I was able to wear mine all day yesterday. Um, the temperature got up to 88, de 88 degrees. Um, so there was possible sweat, you know, going on. And I just went through a typical day. Um, and like I said before, I do have dry cheeks and an oily T-zone. I did set this foundation with a setting powder just because I always set any foundation that I use with a setting powder. Um, and it lasted for six hours. Oh, eight hours, it would show some redness. Um, but it, it wears for eight hours, so that's pretty good with a setting powder it does. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this is one, you get one ounce of product in here. Um... And it retails for $39. This is a demi matte, demi matte finish. And um, I really like it. I wouldn't call it weightless because I did feel it on my skin. And then throughout the day, I could still kind of feel it on my skin. It's easy to blend. It sets just right. Like, it doesn't set too quickly. But it gives you enough time to work with it to get it all on your face. You could dab it all over your face. And you still have time to work with it, if that makes any sense to you guys. Again, it retails for $39. There are 18 shades in the entire line. I... Yeah, but if you want to give it a try, definitely give it a try. If you want me to find a dupe for this foundation, let me know in the comments because, again, it is $40, and if you're not sure about it, um, maybe there is another dupe out there. I'm thinking I know of one, but let me know what you guys think um, if you want a dupe for this. Okay, and then the very last one that I tried out this morning is the Dr. Brandt BB Matte with Signature Shine Erase. And again, it's in a little sample pack like this. This is for oily combination skin. And it is supposed to control shine, even your skin tone, and um, it's oil-free as well. It also has an SPF of 30. Now, the only bad part about this, well, actually, I don't like the whole thing, but um, there are only two shades. There's light to medium, and then this one, which is medium to dark. I used the light to medium, and it was way too like orange for my skin tone first off but I thought you know what? I'm gonna be home all day if it does if I like the way it wears I don't care about the shade um, but then when I looked it up I was like well there's only two shades so I do kind of care um, I ended up wiping it all off of my face like I told you previously guys I have an oily t-zone and dry cheeks and this is supposed to be for oily combo skin Oops. <laughs> oily combo skin it, it attacked, grabbed onto every single dry patch I had on my skin, even the slightest dryness to my, because I have an oilier T-zone, but there are some spots that are dry right now, and it just, and it's very subtle. I also moisturized beforehand too, and it was like I never even moisturized. Um, I applied this one with a brush, and it's terrible with the brush, it was super streaky, um, I tried it with several different brushes too, um, and I tried the Urban Decay one with a brush and it looked fine that way, so, yeah, this one also has a weird smell, this one smells like Play-Doh, like, do you know what I mean, Play-Doh is really salty smelling, this is salty smelling, um, this is supposed to regulate sebum and erase your shine. It smooths and hydrates your skin. It evens out your skin's texture and its tone. It conceals any imperfections like blemishes and redness. Um, this also is supposed to have buildable coverage, protects against UVA, UVB, and it's non-comedogenic. Um, this actually did have nice coverage. It covered up my redness, but um, it just if you have dry skin don't go for this maybe if you have oily skin try it but um, this retails for $39 as well and there's only two shades and these shades are actually more on the yellow side so on the golden side they're really orangey and yellowy and my skin is not that you get one ounce in this um, definitely do not recommend this at all um, most mattifying things they just cling on to dryness anyway um, so I didn't even get to wear it, so I couldn't even tell you how it wore throughout the day. It was super streaky on my face, grabbed onto every single dry patch on my face. Um, I don't like this at all. It smells weird, um, and it's not a good value, and there's only two shades. This has a lot of cons. I definitely don't recommend this one, um, but I just don't recommend it if you 
dry skin. So let me know in the comments if you want any dupes for any of the foundations I just talked with you guys about. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and give me any feedback you want to give me. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!